Binomial, normal or Poisson, which one? Normal, remember you would be given, for straightforward questions, the mean and the standard deviation. Remember the bell curve, an example is like the weights of newborn lambs. It's continuous data, but sometimes you might have a continuity correction for rounded data. Okay. For binomial, think of the four conditions. Bi means two outcomes, success or failure. No for the number of trials, which will be given. Uh, my, for me, I'm independent, so the trials are independent, and all trials have the same probability. Remember, it's discrete, it's counted. It's counted um, number of trials, and it's also success or failure of each trial. Now for the Poisson, it's different. It's not a set number of trials, it's a continuous time or space, that sort of thing. So it might be per hour or per square kilometer, something like that. So it's not a set number of trials. If you can think of the fish itself as being the event and the fish are in the fish tank uh, with the water in the tank representing the um, time or space, just imagine that if you've got 10 fish in there, that they could breed and you could end up with more fish and we don't know how many fish we could end up with. Whereas with binomial, um, you've got a set number of trials and you can't get, if you've got 10 trials, you can't get more than 10 positive outcomes. But in this, in this water, we can end up with a lot of fish. So the lambda symbol is um, basically your mean. So it, you only get given the mean in the question. And from that mean, you can work out the probability of a certain number of the events occurring. Okay, so Poisson is all to do with events in a time or space, whereas the binomials to do with successes and failures in a certain number of trials, the fixed number of trials, and the normals all to do with the mean and standard deviation and the bell curve. Hopefully that helps.